Hey guys, thanks for stopping by the blog. Uh, if you saw Totally Rad Show this week on Monday, you know that we covered Battle of Los Angeles, the big Aaron Eckert blockbuster action film. And unfortunately, I didn't get a chance to go to the press screening, so I wasn't able to participate in the discussion with Dan and Alex about it. So I thought, what better use of the blog than for me to get a chance to weigh in on the movie? I'm um, sure a lot of you have seen it by this point. I loved it. I loved it. I thought it was awesome, emotional, action-packed, compelling. Um, I love the fact that it's in my backyard, uh, Los Angeles, even though uh, Al Dan was saying on the episode that uh, it wasn't shot here and that it really stood out to him. I, even going in with that knowledge, it didn't bother me. I love the fact that it, most of it was set in Santa Monica and, uh, you know, right there on the beach and locations that I knew from living here were in and around the movie. Um, and it's so destroyed and rubble-strewn that uh, it didn't really bother me that it didn't look exactly at, like L.A. Uh, and I thought emotionally the movie resonated. I, the, I dug the characters. I didn't, I didn't share any of Alex's complaints about how uh, some of the cliched moments toward the beginning establishing characters as having a wife who's pregnant or being about to retire are definitely war movie tropes that may be a little bit tired but it didn't really excuse me it didn't really bother me because we move through that so quickly and get to the action sequences really fast uh, and the movie just takes off from there man it is it is thrilling and um, really fun to watch I, I highly recommend it my only complaint is that it takes easily half the movie for it to even matter that it's aliens uh, they do a really great job of withholding the visual of what the aliens look like for a long time and only seeing them in passing and, and you know, with spat gunshots coming out from behind cover uh, and you can't quite make out what the aliens look like. Uh, I wanted more sci-fi-ness to it. It really is a true war movie um, and the sci-fi stuff doesn't really come until the end and it does a great job of setting up for sequel and you, you can imagine battle New York, battle all over the country, all over the world. Um, I, I really dug the movie, and I have to agree much more with Dan than Alex if you saw Monday's episode. It's it's pretty darn good. Um, so let's get to a, a question. Um, this is another one from Adam. He says, Greetings, Jeff. I have a question, or rather a request for your video blog. I was wondering if you could film on your iPhone your board game collection. Uh, it would be nice to see some examples of what you've got. He also says, do your friends come over to your house to play, or do you guys meet up somewhere to play? Do you want, belong to a board game club or league? Thank you for your time. Well, Adam, uh, my collection isn't as big as a lot of people that I know well who have really prolific board game collections, but I'm pretty proud of mine. Uh, the games in my collection are ones that I truly love, and it's growing all the time. I'm always adding new board games to my collection. So here it is, as you requested, shot on my iPhone. Uh, you can tell that uh, right now I don't have a shelf to put them on. I'm actively looking for shelf units. I uh, just moved into this apartment recently, so I'm looking to um, you know, display them prominently in the living room, but right now they're just on the floor. Uh, but yes, I do uh, oftentimes have people over the house and we play games. In fact, I think that's on the agenda tonight, if I'm not mistaken. And... Uh, I actually do belong to a board gaming uh, group. I just randomly searched Yahoo Groups for a board gaming uh, group in my area, which I highly recommend. I think it's an easy way to do it. You can also use BoardGameGeek.com, which is a fantastic website for all things board game. In fact, I wish more geek hobbies had a one-stop shop like Board Game Geek is for the board game hobby. It really is completely comprehensive. You can log your entire collection there. So if you want to see my collection growing, I'm a user on Board Game Geek. You can see my collection and, and uh, see how it's growing. It, it's a fantastic website. That's another place you can go and look for groups. So I, I found a group on, uh, on uh, Yahoo Games called, uh, or Yahoo Groups called um, Westside Gamers. And uh, they meet once a week and I've been going to, going to that and uh, meeting new people and, and hanging out. Um, it's it's awesome. It's fantastic what the internet has done as far as letting people meet up who have these really niche, niche um, interests. So I highly recommend in your area if you don't have anybody to play board games with. Super awesome. Um, so hopefully that helps. Okay, keep sending those questions. Jeff Canada at gmail.com. I appreciate you watching the blog.